All right, Bears fans, we have another injury update for the Chicago Bears heading into this Sunday's game against the Detroit Lions. And so we got two updates, so to say. So Matt Eberflus initially comes out and says that Cody Whitehair will not be part of the starting five for the offensive line on Sunday. Now, this is something that all Bears fans have kind of expected, hoped, and wish was going to happen. Cody Whitehair has just not been good for the Chicago Bears. He just hasn't. I'm sorry. You know, it is what it is. Uh, shout out to what he's been able to do over his career. But he just has not been good. He's not been effective. And he's actively hurt the progression that the offensive line is trying to make. So I'm not surprised at all that Cody Whitehair is now moved to the bench and relegated to that row. Could he thrive a little bit better? Not thrive. I don't think anybody's expecting Cody Whitehair to thrive. But can Cody Whitehair perform a little bit better as a depth piece? That's what will remain to be seen, and that's what we'll look to see if he can do for the remaining seven games for the Chicago Bears season. But at least right now, somebody that has been actively hurting the defensive line is moving out of that starting position and moving, uh, being relegated to the bench. We already know Ryan Poles has a lot of work that still needs to be done on that offensive line. It's going to be interesting to see how he address both the center and left tackle positions in this upcoming offseason through free agency, through the draft, whatever it takes. But as of right now, Cody Whitehair has moved to the bench, and the next move hopefully is going to be a move off the Chicago Bears roster at the end of the season. But with all, uh, you know, with that news, we get even more positive news that Nate Davis is back and will start at right guard. Tevin Jenkins will move back over to the left guard, which you already know makes the most sense for Tevin Jenkins. Like to see him and Darnell Wright out there on the same side of the ball. This is now going to move Nate Davis right uh, next to Braxton Jones, who played pretty well. We've already talked about it. Braxton Jones uh, getting a uh, a 90, over a 90 rating for, for uh, pro football focus as far as his grade. Now you bring in Nate Davis, who, again, Nate Davis' is biggest problem for the Chicago Bears has been his ability to get on the field for the team. But when he's on the field, he's been just about everything that we need and want him to be. Um, in the case, has he been perfect? No, it's not been perfect. But again, we know that this offensive line has been dealing with injuries literally since the start of the season. So now, at least for the last seven games, we get a look at our projected starting offensive line to see exactly what we need to do for hopefully the next seven games. Knock on wood that we don't suffer any other injuries. So now you got Nate Davis returning right along with Justin Fields, which all plays into, like we've said and talked about before, you now have a, uh, uh, you now have better as far as just in regards to um, in regards to being able to really evaluate what your offensive line can and will be for the remaining part of the season. You get better protections for Justin Fields. So, hey, listen, I'm all for it. Uh, you get you get Braxton Jones and Tevin Jenkins on the left side. You get Nate Davis, Darnell Wright on the right side. And we'll get to see really what that looks like for this team as we go forward for the rest of the season. We got some studs on that offensive line. We absolutely do. But that is one of the biggest things that I think most people will agree that they want to see the Bears really address here um, in the offseason. So now we get to evaluate. We get our quarterback, Justin Fields, back. And now we get to really take a look at seeing how this team can play over the last seven games with most of our pieces, main pieces, relatively healthy. Khalil Herbert still, you know, a question of if he's going to be able to come back or not or perform or play in this game. But other than that, we got most of our pieces healthy on both sides of the ball and we really get to take a look and continue that evaluation process. Let me know down below. What do you guys think about now Nate Davis moving back, Cody Whitehair moving back to the bench? And I want to hear from you guys as far as Braxton Jones as well. I know we didn't really talk about him a lot on this episode, but what do you? how do you guys feeling about Braxton Jones? Do you think he can come in to next season still as the starter? Would you like to see them go out and find a new starter, relegate him now to a depth piece? or maybe bringing in a veteran that can back him up if need be. Let me know all those thoughts down below. But with that said, thank you guys so much for tuning in to another episode of Chicago Bears Central. Make sure you guys are following the show at Shy Bears Central. You can send us any feedback, questions, comments, concerns, chicagobearscentral.gmail.com. And then lastly, if you want to leave a text message and our voicemail for the mailbag, the number to do so, 773-242-9336. We are the number one spot. For everything Chicago Bears related, thanks to you guys. And like we like to end every episode on, shot town up, bear down. Love you guys, and let's get this dub Sunday. Peace, y'all. This has been a presentation of the Break Break Media. Media.